feel like my morning routines either go one of two ways. what is up welcome back to the channel if you're new around here my name is hannah if you're not new welcome back it's currently 6 34 in the morning and i'm headed to pilates i figured i would film a fun productive morning routine i feel like my morning routines either go one of two ways i'm really productive and those are the days that i get up at 6 a.m go to pilates at 7 come back take a shower make breakfast get ready for work and like i'm an actual human before i start my work day and the other half of the days are the days that I stay in bed until 8, 8.30 and then decide to get up and like mosey around the house. And I've been really, really, really enjoying my productive morning routines when I have the energy for them and when I schedule my club Pilates classes. So I figured I would take you guys along for what my morning looks like when I'm up at 6am. I'm pretty tired today, I'm not gonna lie. It's very rainy and muggy. I don't know if you can tell by the window, but I feel like when the weather is like this, it just immediately wants to put me back to sleep. But the good thing about booking workout classes that you can't cancel is that if I cancel I will get charged like 15 or 20 dollars I can't remember what the cancellation fee is and your girl does not want to be paying that so it's incentive to get my butt out of bed and get myself to the Pilates class even if it is raining outside so I just wanted to pick up the camera before we got going and said good morning I brushed my teeth this morning put on an outfit ate a little protein bar because I want to eat something before Pilates but I'm not a huge like big breakfast person before I work out because it makes me feel sick to my stomach but then also if I don't eat anything it makes me feel sick to my stomach so I found that little protein bars or like granola bars really help a ton so I had that this morning filled up my water and now we're getting ready to go I hope you guys enjoy this morning routine it's raining and you guys can probably hear that on my windshield so I'm gonna shut the camera off and get going Pilates. Ignore my hair. This is how you know it's humid outside. I'm whispering because everyone is still asleep and I don't want to wake them up. But I'm getting ready to make my bed and do some laundry before I take a shower and make breakfast. I'm not that hungry yet. And also, this will drive me nuts until I fix it. So let's do a little bit of a morning cleanup slash reset before we get the rest of the day started.
dressed for the day. If you know me, you know that I basically live in sweatpants and tank tops or workout gear. I very rarely fully dress up for work, I feel like, because I work remote and I'm on Zoom calls and stuff like that all day. I only really have to show from here up, so that's the only part of me that I keep semi-presentable. And then other than that, I'm very loungy. Rarely, although it does happen, rarely do I like get fully dressed up for work. Like Sometimes I get the inspiration just to feel good and dress up, but... Typically, this is the everyday go-to uniform. I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. It's 8.37 now, so I have about like 20-ish minutes to make breakfast. I think I'm just gonna make something super easy. I typically go for like avocado toast, yogurt with granola, or like toast and butter. I've been really into hash browns this week, so I honestly may make hash browns, bacon, and some toast again. That's been my breakfast fixation of the week. Last week was avocado toast. This week it's hash browns because I went to Trader Joe's this past weekend and got hash browns and they are so, so, so good. So I think that's what we're going to make this morning. I don't do coffee or anything like that in the morning anymore. I gave up caffeine about three or four months ago, I would say. Maybe a little bit longer than that. When I got diagnosed with Maldate Embarkment, I really changed a lot of like my diet and lifestyle. So I gave up gluten. I try to limit dairy. It's kind of hard to, but I try to limit dairy. Sugar is also a hard one for me, but I fully gave up gluten and caffeine. Every now and then I will drink something with caffeine in it. Like I do love sweet tea every now and then, or sometimes Olipop has like green tea in it, which has caffeine. But in regards to like my morning coffee and morning caffeine that way, I don't drink it anymore. I'm not saying I won't ever go back to it, but right now it's just like what makes me feel good. And I've actually been enjoying not needing to have coffee or caffeine to wake me up in the morning. I feel like my body has reset to naturally being able to wake myself up or naturally being able to wake up in the morning. It's actually a really good feeling. Let's make some breakfast and then quickly eat it and then we'll hop on to work. Breakfast has been made and it looks delicious. We're eating breakfast while we start work this morning because it took a little bit longer to make breakfast than I thought it would to be completely honest, but that's okay because we don't have any meetings this morning. So I'll just, you know, log on to work and do my thing while eating. It's like that sometimes. These strawberries are low key, very sour. I should probably chew before I talk. It's 9 a.m. now. Like I said, just log on to work. We're gonna eat breakfast while we work. Sometimes I'm able to eat breakfast before I log on to work. Other times I just eat while I work. I feel like if you work a nine to five, you get it. Sometimes you gotta eat lunch while you work. Sometimes you gotta eat breakfast while you work. The whole nine yards. So we're eating breakfast, drinking a big cup of water. Honestly, replacing my caffeine with a cup of water. I get it. Like I get the hype and I get why all the like aesthetic morning routine girls do it. It feels so good to drink like a full glass of cold water while you're eating breakfast every morning instead of drinking coffee on an empty stomach and then eating afterwards. I just feel like it makes me feel better. So anyways, we're gonna check emails and check Teams, make sure that I didn't miss anything, look at all the meetings that I have for today and kind of go from there. And my morning's not over because, like I said, it's only 9 a.m. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit after I kind of catch up on work things. It's around 11 o'clock now and I am stepping away from my desk for a few minutes. I just need to get up and move around and move my body. I feel like when I sit in the same place for so long, it drives me nuts. I think I'm gonna have a pre-lunch post breakfast snack. I'm gonna have one of these cinnamon coffee cake muffins from Trader Joe's. They are so good, but I don't know if I'd buy them again because they're just so sweet. I thought that I could eat these as like a little breakfast item in the morning. And to be honest, they're more of like a desserty snack item than anything else. 
So I have been eating them all week, like here and there, eating like half at a certain time, half later. But they're definitely more of a dessert than a muffin, I would say. It tastes like a cupcake or like a literal cake. So <laughs> that's my review on the gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins. But they are very, very good for like a gluten-free pastry or gluten-free item. Um, I want to try the blueberry muffins from Trader Joe's next time I go. They had a whole gluten-free section when I was there this past weekend. And I honestly was living for it. I saw it on TikTok, which inspired me to go to Trader Joe's. There's not one super close to me, but I feel like if I go once a month or every other week, it's kind of fun just to see like what new items they have out, restock on some of my favorites, treat myself, that sort of thing. But they had a whole section when you walked in of gluten-free pastries, gluten-free snacks. And I'd never seen that before at Trader Joe's. I guess I like was never really looking for it to be fair but I really have enjoyed every single one of the gluten-free pastries and snack items that I've tried from Trader Joe's and I will say lives up to the hype. So I'm going to eat this as a little snack and probably sitting out in the kitchen and just remove myself from my desk for a little bit and take like a five minute break and then go back in and get back to work. All right, it's officially noon, which means my morning's over. I just went upstairs, took like a 10 minute break from work, flipped my laundry, put a new load in, put some clothes away, you know. I have ants in my pants. I cannot sit at a desk all day every day. So I like to take like little breaks here and there. And typically I won't take like my full hour lunch break during lunch. Like I like to take shorter breaks here and there. Although sometimes you do see me take longer breaks. Like sometimes I'll go out and lay by the pool for an hour on my lunch break. Or sometimes I'll go out and run errands on my lunch break. But on the days where it's like really rainy, I don't have any plans to go out and do anything. I like to just like take mini breaks here and there. So I've taken two breaks so far this morning. Second one was to finish all the laundry that I started. But anyways, that's beside the point. I wanted to go ahead and officially end off the vlog here because it's no longer morning. It's now noon. I hope you guys enjoyed this morning in my life vlog. I... Like I said, switch up my morning routine so often, but this has been a morning routine lately that I've really, really, really loved. And honestly, I feel like I owe a lot of it to Pilates because Pilates is what got me back into this routine and going at 7 a.m. So shout out to Club Pilates for the 7 a.m. class because you guys have made me a morning person again. Comment down below your favorite morning habit that you currently have in your morning routine because I'm so curious about other people's mornings like I love watching morning routine vlogs and night routine vlogs just to see like what other people's morning habits are I know some people wake up and the first thing they do is make coffee some people journal in the morning some people um read their bible in the morning like things of that sort so I'm so curious to see like what your go-to non-negotiable morning habit is mine is definitely breakfast and then probably some sort of like morning exercise as of late so comment down below your fave because I'm so curious and I'm nosy and I really want to know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.